volume measurement of a leg lymphedema after Kunke. You need a pen, an eyeliner, and a measurement tape. You should try to make sure that your patient always has the same initial position to avoid measuring mistakes. That's why we advise you to use a self-built right angle. You can also get it from the big garment companies like Medi, Jobst or Jutso. We start from the foot sole to the narrowest part of your ankle joint, which is the proximal malleolus. This is the so-called first measuring point. Fill in the centimeters you measured at the first mark. From there on, you mark every four centimeters till the last possible horizontal line. Make sure that the knee is extended and the measuring tape is always placed tight on the thigh's skin. Now place the measuring tape around the leg and guarantee that you don't pull too intensely. The marked spot should always be between the two parts of the measuring tape. Now keep on doing this with all the spots you've marked. Measure free and then write down the circumferences to within a millimeter. The measuring tape should always be adapted to the extremity and you move on until you get to the last possible horizontal line. The measuring tape should always be applied in a right angle to the leg's longitudinal axis. Now you can see how you should not do it. This is an example for pulling too tight. For measuring the foot, you start with the little toes nail bed and move on 4 and 8 centimeters proximal. These two circumferences are not added to the legs volume. You can find an Excel table in the download area on our website to calculate the volume of the leg by filling in your measured circumferences.